this is Earl Hines' trumpet style of piano playing, which he introduced in the 1920s when he was working with Louis Armstrong. Uh, obviously, he was influenced by Armstrong. Possibly Armstrong was influenced by him. And at any rate, they shared a common style in which Hines seemed to be trying to play trumpet licks on the piano. This is not as easy as it sounds because you can't do certain attacks and, and quavers on the piano that you can uh, with a uh, wind instrument. So when Armstrong would do something which would be uh, on the piano, the best you can do the uh, quaver would be done as a, as a, a tremolo. And this, this uh, trumpet uh, attack. Uh, another thing that Hines did, he no longer felt that it was necessary to play the neatly laid out uh, regular stride bass of the uh, people like, say, James P. Johnson. He broke it up. He suspended the rhythm with runs, uh, uh, technical flourishes, which anticipated arc tatum, like... Uh, because he was, and you should be, counting all the time. He did these things so that, because they come out right. They're not just uh, uh, cadenzas in... in uh, one, two, three, four. Also, he anticipated the, t uh, the regularities with uh, the syncopation. Of course, individual piano styles evolve over time, and pianists don't play exactly the same way throughout their careers, far from it. But we are focusing now on Heinz of the 1920s. And I think it's fair to say that, that uh, Heinz of the 1920s was in a progression following Jelly Roll Martin. Heinz might not be flattered by that comparison, uh, but in that they were both influenced by other instruments in the way they played the piano. Uh, 